Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at data loading with D3. Let's get started. So first off, let's go on and talk about um, some of the basic data uh, types that we would um, be using. So one, um, or two of them at least, is CSV, TSV, and these are comma separated values and um, tab separated values. Now we also, these both fall under this delimited separator value type. Um, data format and well probably in at least in data science these are probably some of the more common ones that we're going to be dealing with um, then we also have JSON and XML and we'll talk about um, these in turn so first off let's go on and talk about again what a comma separated value is it starts off with a comma okay we also have um, also let's talk maybe more about just delimited values in general we have this semicolon a colon and a pipe most of these are what we have that are common, okay? Um, and let's go on and take a look at some of that data. So this is a comma separated value. This is just some generic fake data that I've created up. It has um, a job, a company, so security number, residence, location. Again, it's just kind of like a basic user profile that we have in here, as well as age. And so I'm gonna be working just with two of two of the variables right now. I'm gonna be working with name and age, and maybe we'll even work with company a little bit. But just to kind of show you guys what we can do when we're pulling in the data. So let's go on and do the CSV first. So D3.CSV, uh, and let's do something like, um, what was, where was the data located? data.profiles.csv. Now then we need a then statement. Um, and this is this is a promise, okay? And it's gonna have this callback to some sort of execution. So um, so that, again, what it's doing is it's it'll do anything inside of here um, after the data has been loaded. So um, let's do something like a for loop index of D element. Okay, so let's go on and maybe console log out uh, the name and it's also uh, console log out um, the age okay and you're gonna we're gonna see something a little bit interesting here so if I run this notice here that we do have the names okay and we do have the ages that's good but if those of you who have used the console quite a bit you're saying why is this a grade out well here's the thing they're both popping up currently as strings. That is a problem, okay? Because again, what if you want to do some math on the age? You have, you're going to need to convert these. Now, what I would suggest, okay, a lot of people will make up some sort of custom function or do something like that. But again, here at Data Science for Everyone, we like to do the easy way, okay? We don't like doing things hard. We don't like anything complicated. So go back up to your uh, CSV file here okay your uh, function call comma and then do d3 dot auto type that's it okay you go back over you run this and bam look at this you have your um, now everything is in a number format okay it's going to save you a ton of headaches now this also works usually for date times booleans uh, strings doubles floats etc okay now it does its best to do that okay there will be some times where they may not work exactly the way that you want them to and that's okay um, but you'll have so then you'll have to kind of go and make some more specialty functions to convert things but don't don't worry about it um, uh, too much on that now another thing we can do is if we wanted to change this up to a TSV we can change this to TSV and then again we'll access a file for TSV here and again we can rerun this and notice that it works um, now I told you that there is this uh, delimited separator value, okay? Now I personally love this because if, so let's just do a comma separated value first. So here, you just have that one function. You only need to memorize one function if you're working with any type of DS, uh, uh, data separated value or delimited separated values. So for example here, if you have a comma separated value, you just put a comma for this sep um, argument here and it's going to run fine. If you change this up and you change this to TSV, again, it would be here a tab. Okay, oh, and so I'll put that little note here. Is that backslash tab is uh, going to, or T is going to be for the tab. 
And again, we run this, it works just fine. So again, if you had a semicolon separated value, um, you could have this, a colon separated value, a pipe separated. And again, whatever this is, sometimes they'll just be in this .txt format. Okay, so I'm gonna go on and leave that as um, a comma separated value. Okay, and I'm going to, that, that we dealt with all of these formats and I'm gonna leave that here and I'm gonna comment it out. Now let's go on and do just some uh, really generic, again, just showing you guys the functions. For D3, uh, JSON here, again, our data. Profile.json, then, and then let's do something function d here and let's actually just uh, console log d for now and I run this uh, whoops and it's profiles oh, let me cancel that and I forgot to save this okay so notice here now it brings back an actual object okay so if we want to access any of these objects with um, the uh, JSON file that we've imported, we need to actually go about this in some sort of function like this. We can do dot name. Let me run this. Notice now that it grabbed names and it actually has, it's buried inside there, um, all of the values. And then if we want to access each of these, now we could do this in, for example, in a loop if you want to do them all, or we can go about this again, if you want to grab a single one. So let me just do, I don't know who 44, I don't know who 44 is. So that's uh, Jennifer Cortez, okay? So you can grab them each individually. And again, you can do the same thing with the age. Okay, she's 42. So again, that's, that's similar. Again, you can do much more complex expressions as well, but that's just how you're going to be able to access it. And again, I'm gonna go on and do uh, one more here for the XML. Uh, and again, oh, and if, let me actually comment this out and re uncomment this and let me run it again. Um, and I don't want this. I just want D. Um, actually, console log D. And let me actually just show you guys this really quickly. Again, notice here that the numbers are numbers. The birth date, it will, you'll have to actually convert that, okay? But um, it already knows. For example, that age needs to be a number, okay, or an integer. Um, the address needs to be a string. You don't need to use this auto type that we did uh, with the CSV or TSV or any of the uh, delimited separator values. So, comment that. Uncomment this one. Um, and let's do um, JSON. And then, then here, and I, again, I'm just going to. Uh, console log D here. Oh, whoops. Um, and we'll actually just take a look. Again, here, um, notice that it actually is, whoops. Excuse me, that's weird. Oh, well, it's because it's the JSON. Um, XML. XML. L. Okay, there we go. So notice here that this is actually giving us back our um, our XML data as is. So for example, if you want to actually go through and grab each of them internally, you'll actually have to go through and uh, use a little bit of, um, so like for example, you'll select, have to select each of the elements in order to loop through them as well. Again, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on the XML stuff um, as well as the JSON for now. I'm just going to, again, this is more of a data science for everyone. So we'll stick more to our standard um, uh, data uh, tab separated, our um, CSVs, etc. So let's go on and actually show how to bind some of that data. So let's do D3, um, uh, dot DSV, we want comma separated values. We'll do our data dot profiles dot CSV dot then. We're going to create a function here. Um, we're grabbing D here. And what are we going to want to do? Um, 
let's have it go on and maybe let's okay so let's make a, a scenario here so let's assume that you were given um this uh, a, a, a csv file that has everyone's name their company etc you have some profiles of people and they're going to be hosting uh some exhibit at your work okay so then you want to put in and have a website where it has their name comma their company okay um, and maybe some other information in there as well. And you want to put it on the website so that people can see who's attending, where they're from, etc. Well, all we have to do with that is d3.select. We're going to grab the body. Then we also want to select all. Here we're going to grab the paragraph tags because uh, we'll make these as paragraphs. Um, then let's go on and bind in our data. Then we need to enter our data. Then we want to append here any P, and then we'll add in some text. So here, let's do something like function of D, um, and here let's return D dot name uh, plus plus what we said company. So let's do comma space plus D dot company okay and so if we run this notice now we have this um, nice uh, list of all the people as well as their company name that they work for in a nice uh, list okay so we have taken this we have grabbed this data from a CSV file in a directory we have waited for it to load using the then statement and then we have gone through created up a function where we can access the data we were going through each individual pieces using this loop, okay? We're grabbing it by each index, then we are selecting each element, okay? So we're grabbing each of these elements and we are adding them, okay, to our, uh, our list, okay? Um, and actually we can maybe be able to do this in a little bit different way as well. I wonder if this would work as well. Let's play, play with it just a second, I think. We can even simplify this just a, a little bit more. Um, instead of return, I want element. An element. Let's see how that works. Nope. See, that just goes and does the singular. It's going to be the same name there. Okay, so again, we want to make sure that this is another function. Oh. And we have the loop. And again, then we can have up this nice um website design that we have here so if you guys like this please comment subscribe hit that like button and i will see you guys next time Bye bye